Okay, I'll try to do this again for like the tenth time. Permits for single pole, Idaho, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. All permits can be bought online. Check with your company. They probably have an account set up with a permit company. So when you book a load and you got to drive through or to any of them four states, ask your dispatcher, who do we get permits from? Dispatcher doesn't know. Ask the office manager or the safety person or payroll since they reimburse you for it. Now, if you're with Indiana Transport, good luck getting hold of anybody. Everybody else, contact the appropriate office. Um, I got to quit saying, um, Nevada, you're going to buy that permit online anyway. There's no scale house. There's no port of entry. They share it with the state of Arizona. And you have to have it in your possession before you enter the state. Nevada has been known to pull transporters over just to see if they have a permit. It's happened to me. Um, literally, he did not ask for bill of lading, didn't ask for insurance, didn't ask for anything other than if I had the Nevada permit. Showed it to him, he said, you're free to go, have a good day. Mm -hmm. Away I went. That was when I was with Horizon. Now, if you hire on, or if you're new to Maple Tree, Maple Tree does have a permit company they use. You'll need to ask uh, one of the office ladies, Aaron or Carla. Um, they have a credit card set up. You just give them the truck number when you're going to be in Nevada. Because that's important. Your Nevada permit's only good for 24 hours. Uh, I would imagine that uh, some of the other bigger companies have a, a set up account with a permit company. So don't get on the, the, the transporter pages. What states do I need a permit for? Should have been covered in orientation. You should have a book with a list of permit companies in it. And your dispatcher should have told you, hey, who do you need for a permit? Third one's going to be tricky because they're dispatchers. But the first two. So you should know roughly when you're going to be entering Nevada. So you should know when you need to have that permit start. And remember, it's only good for 24 hours. So you're going to want to try to get through that state as quickly as possible. Idaho, Arizona, New Mexico can be bought at the port of entries. Arizona, I, I've seen on the page, I've never experienced it. It used to be a time and a place where you could drive across the scale, flag it in your logbook, drive down the road, and it was good. They considered you checking in. Uh, some people have said that they've been getting tickets because this port of entry was closed and they didn't get it online. I heard getting an Arizona permit online is tricky. I don't know. A permit is not an issue once you're in a portion-plated vehicle. Well, for the most part. Uh, I am going to do a video about multi-haul and permits. This is just permits for single haul. Um, so yes, get your Nevada permit. It's only good for 24 hours. Have it before you enter the state. The other three states, Idaho, Arizona, New Mexico, you can buy them at the port of entry. If they're closed, get them online. Get with your company. Find out who they use. You probably won't have to pay for it at that point. If you drive for Bennett, we have a permit company. It's in your blue book. Find it. Use it. Call them. One and done. Anyway, y'all be safe. Y'all be good.